Hi everyone, it's Father Ed. Today we're going to look at modifying a 3D file. We can use either VCarve Pro or we can use Aspire. I'm going to be using Aspire, but uh, VCarve Pro will accomplish much of what we want to do today. So both users of uh, VCarve Pro and Aspire um, might want to uh, watch this video. It's around five minutes, so let's get started. We're going to create a new file. We're going to go to job setting. We're going to use a piece of uh, stock that is 10 inches wide, 14 inches high, and four quarter stock that has been planed down to 0.8125. Um, click on OK. We're going to go down to the modeling tab and we're going to import a 3D file, an STL file. And uh, we're going to find that that file that we're going to import is significantly larger than what we want to create. So we'll need to resize it. The file, here's the file. It is a deer scene and um, it's close to 400 inches wide. We're going to change that to eight inches wide. Uh, that gives it a height of under 12 inches and a depth of under a half an inch. We apply it, go down to the bottom, put it on the bottom, and click OK. Now that file, resized, will be imported into our work. OK, that's what it looks like on our board. Uh, we're going to have a double view. Uh, we're going to see the file. And what I would like to do is there's two things I'd like to show you is how we can modify it uh, to give it better detail. This particular file, we double click on it and we see that the height of it or the depth is only less than four inches. I want um, a little bit finer detail, more detail to this. And quite frankly, um, if we modify this just a little bit, it can be the difference between a good carve and an outstanding carve. So I'm going to change this depth to three quarters of an inch or 0.75. Now watch what happens. The depth, it comes alive. It just is a little bit more detail and that can make all the difference in the world. I'm going to pick close. And what I'd like to do with this file is I'd like to add a clock in here around where this tree is. I've already got the clock to be inserted into this file once it is uh, carved. So uh, the manufacturer of the clock told me that uh, there is a particular uh, size hole that we need in order to insert it. So we're gonna go to the drawing tab and the size that the manufacturer of the clock told me is 2.375. So I'm gonna create a circle, close that up, I'm going to highlight the circle and I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to move it to where I want the clock to be. So that's where I want the clock to be. So now the idea is, is that we need to get rid of this area inside the file so that we can insert the clock. And it's a wonderful, the easy file. thing to do. We hold All the space we click. key down, the shift key down, excuse me and we click on the circle. Go over to this tool that says trim selected objects to a boundary. Click on that. We want to clear the inside. So I'm going to clear on the click this, but watch over here. Watch what happens when I clear. The hole is created for the insert in the clock. Close it. For you guys and gals who are using uh, VCarve Pro, that's it. Go to work. Create your tool paths and uh, you can create this plaque with, uh, uh, with a uh, clock insert. For the Aspire users, uh, let's, take one, let's take it one step further. I want to create a little shelf for this clock to rest on. So I'm going to go back to the drawing tab. I'm going to go down to offset and layout. And I'm going to offset this circle by a quarter of an inch and it's going to be outward. So I click offset and now we have two circles on our file. We have an inside and an outside. I'm going to click on both of them and then I'm going to go to the modeling tool and I'm going to create a shape that is flat, one half inch 
above the bottom. Apply. And what happens over here is I see that it's above the surface, not above the bottom. The way I do that is I blend it. So I go from this to a blended and it'll drop right down. Now made an Aspire that has a little ridge on it that we can save, create our tool paths and carves. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. God bless. Bye-bye.